That's a fun door. It's magical. You end up in a lavender farm in New Zealand. It's so easy to get sunburned here. Already I can feel just burn on, on my face from driving. Don't like wearing sunscreen. Um, I break out in acne for some reason. It's taking me back to being a teenager all over again. <laughs> Pimple that broke out of my forehead from it and one on my nose now. I'm like, oh, come on. High school never ends. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. I could get banned from YouTube for singing that song. I think it's a Bowling for Soup song. Shush, get out of the car. I told myself, buy only what you need. I can smell this amazing smell already. I know I'm not gonna follow through on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be buying stuff. sticking it on yeah and then i know you've paid and there's a big map outside for you um and it kind of naturally takes you all the way around Great. in here there's honey tasting and you can buy lavender tea lavender ice cream and all that as well so, so yeah and with the animals did you want to buy a bucket it's two dollars you can feed, feed them. them yes yeah so i couldn't decide between whether to feed alpacas or sheep. So I asked if I could feed both. <laughs> and the lady was very kindly said, yes, of course. But they won't let people feed more than one lot each because they've got a bit fat over the years. <laughs> so they put them on a little bit of a diet. Apparently these are the Swiss sheep. The Swiss sheep were literally imported from Switzerland. And they're cute. Oh. I tried to come in an off-peak time, so there wasn't a lot of um, tourists and sounds. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, just help yourself to that. You look like you're starving. Let's go and find some alpacas to um, be spat at. Huh. Way to go, kids. That was delicious. You're so polite. You are the politest. Alpaca. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Dang it. I'll just eat from the tin like I do at home. Why bother, huh? But each one skip a D. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. Hello gorgeous. You can't you can't eat this. I've got no food unfortunately. I'd say you need a good two hours if you want to take your time and actually see everything and engage with everything and not do the rushing thing. There's some cuteness up ahead. Hello cuteness. What's your name? Horny. That's definitely not you. But could be. Highland cows. Look at this. Kristen and Millie. It's an electric fence that you're not even worried about, is it? Ah, oh, itchy. Scratch that itch, buddy. Okay, you're gonna show me your friends? Probably eat the clothes off my back. And I'd let you do it too. Look how cute you are. Let's check out these horny Highland cows. Hello. Look at those pretty almond eyes. Ooh. I don't think I'm allowed to touch you because you're behind electric fence. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Talk to the animals. New TV show in New Zealand.
Well, that's the shot of the Highland cows. What's your beautiful face? Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Friendly. Super friendly. <laughs> Such a tourist shot. Oh! Door opens, door closes. Like we don't know what a door looks like. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not a model. I don't want to do the tourist shot, like. <laughs> I'll probably make that my cover photo because it looks really attractive. So pretty, got the pink as well, thank you. Yes, I tried to match them as much as I could. Oh. Plus, they're both my favourite. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Come visit the Wanaka Lavender Farm. It's awesome, it's fun, there are animals. It's like a petting zoo with the whole calming vibe of lavender, honey. It's like a healing farm, really. I'm always so impressed by the communal nature here. If that was Australia, everyone would just pinch the stuff and there'd be an empty box. I love going behind the scenes when people are taking those perfect pictures. How unphoto worthy is it really? Although yes, the Wanaka tree is beautiful, stunning. Get some photos. Also check out the forest behind. Oh, I've still got my uh, <laughs> lavender farm sticker on me. Super cool. You know what's really cool is when I arrived to take photos of the Wanaka tree, the famous touristy attraction, protected tree, people will literally call the police if anyone damages it, and so they should. What was super cool, uh, these Japanese couple were there and they asked if I would take their photo. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I did horizontal vertical, whatever shot they wanted, and multiple bursts, and asked them, you know, check the photos to make sure you're happy. And then they returned the favor. I'm like, oh, cool. So I was able to get a video. And then in the spirit of generosity, you can't help but do this. I wanted to, like, give to somebody else who was there. And there's two older gentlemen from Canada, and they had already been there before, before somebody went and chopped a tree limb off the Wanaka tree, like an idiot. They were there when the limb used to be there. And so I offered to take their photos and I was stoked. And it just is such a good vibe when people, there was a polite getting in the queue. Everybody knew that we all were all there to have a photo taken. People were lining up, taking their time, offering to help each other take photos, not pushing in, not being stupid. I think I hit it at the perfect time to not hate human beings. So this is great.